So this was my first have a go uh, idea of a binaural dish microphone. As you can see, we have an ear. Now this particular dish was just a random dish that had commercial free use with, so I decided that it's got that license to it. Well, let's just have a play with it. So uh, the microphone is supposed to go here and I've actually separated the dish. Uh, I think it's about 30, 30 millimeters. And I've brought these two arms a little bit closer so that it would hold this 3D printed bit which holds the, the ears in place. And I decided to put a baffle in between it because I'd heard that that's the thing to do. I don't know, so I just tried it anyway. Uh, this one's got plug-in power, but it can be powered uh, by phantom power. There's some phantom power circuits in that. But it could be just put into a splitter like that and used with a Zoom H1 or something like that. Anyway, so after a few... Uh, exchange words on a forum uh, it was suggested that this wasn't in the correct focal plane I was just assuming that if that was there that would have been the focal point I've worked with uh, dishes in the past but on radio wave rather than auditory waves uh, so I am aware that there is a, a focal point so I put it there because I put these either side of my head and went in the side and outside of the uh, the dish to hear the clock behind me sound the loudest. And it was about there that I managed to think that that was all right. Anyway, so I decided to do a, a modification of this to put a baffle, print a baffle here rather than using a piece of cardboard and have like a bar going to the point here so that these ears could be slid up and down this point here to get the focal point. Um, but in the process of also doing that, I also cupped my ears and thought, hang on a minute, if I cup my ears, uh, not only does it create another uh, reflection, but it also stops spurious um, sounds coming in from the side. Because binaural microphones are extremely good at picking up sounds in all directions, as we are quite aware of that, because we're humans and we hear everything, everything all over. So things above us and things below us would be heard here. Though the sound which is focused to here would always be, if you were lucky enough to have those ear shapes, be hearing the perspective from in front of you. So anything else would be perceived, perceived around you with the focal point. So. It, it's a bit like a wide angle lens for everything, but the centre bit zoomed in and focusing upon the thing that you were pointing at. And it would be the loudest thing being recorded, but binaurally uh, to a certain degree. Uh, if you were to point a little tiny bit lower than the subject, you might find that, well, for me, because these are my ears, uh, you might perceive it above your head just a little bit, not miles above your head, because obviously the, the, we're only focusing at this sort of angle, aren't we? So anyway, uh, so you're not going to hear aeroplanes above. If you were to point this at an aircraft, for example, you perceive it in front of your face rather than above your head because you're looking or pointing at it. Anyway, from that, I went on to the, the extra design, which was this which looks really stupid, but behind this little cup here is an ear. I'm not sure if you can see that too well, because I don't have any, uh, it would have to be black, wouldn't it? But I, uh, I can tell you inside here is an ear, uh, exactly the same as this ear, it's just got the cup over it. And with that, now we have blocked direct sounds to the ear. So essentially, it is now blocking anything from 
around this side and from underneath and from on top. So it should attenuate all the sounds around it and just basically focusing upon whatever this dish is focusing focusing upon. I've yet to experiment with it more, but I've found up to now that you can move the ears up and down this slide here. Uh, I've yet to do more experiments, but we found that, I found that if I put that too close to the dish, it just sounds cheap, 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 and nasty, nasty, nasty. So bringing it out, you lose those weird resonances you get with reflections and stuff. Uh, if you get a microphone inside a tube, for example, too far, you get horrible reson res resonances and stuff like that. So there's that kind of resonance thing going on there, if it's too close. Now that's with these cups on. I've yet to try these ears on here without this cover on. And I suppose I'd be able to be able to, I would be able to find the focal point better that way. And once I've got the focal point, then put this guest cup thing. I mean, even the shape of the cup could be redesigned to be a bit more round or something. Maybe that's having something to do with it. Or it could be the position of where the, the, the cup is on the ear, because the, the cup's on the ear here, and maybe the cup should be at this point here. Because uh, if you look in, like, rabbit ears, they've got all these little folds and stuff at the base of the pinner. So the folds and stuff do have a very, very important aspect to the way the sound is being perceived externally. That's the only way to get it ex perceived externally, is by book the coloration of tones, the binaural cues, the HRTF, as they call it in the scientific papers, is very, very important. Uh, though the head, when they say head-related transfer function, it's a bit confusing because it's got, mm, it has some effect, the head, but not all that. It's the, these are the lenses that do all the hard work. Uh, the shape of the head is just one of those things. It's unimportant as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and also the distance between the ears is unimportant as well. Uh, though the purists might think otherwise, but the proof is in the listening. Uh, so, of up to now, I, I, I can't disprove the fact that the distances between the ears are vital. So, hence the tiny distance here. But anyway, uh, so this, I'm going to try focusing this, and now we can change the uh, the squint of this a little bit as well. So once I've found that the ideal focusing position, whether with these cups on or with the cups off and the distance between the dish and not the dish and this particular distance here and here, can we move them out like that? Should we move them in like that? All that has to be adjusted and to be tested as yet. But the, the effect that it's it's got at the present seems to be different to the standard stereotype of parabolic dish recordings you get. So, in essence, uh, bringing a binocular flattened perspective uh, of something quite close, and it could be slightly above your head or slightly below your head, but once you get too far out of its focal beam, shall we say, uh, you're not going to get that, uh, that that amplified sound, so you would lose that binaural thing unless you had them like that so that you had this externalised binaural stuff. I'm looking at the, focusing on the ears there, because uh, you can see the ears, and obviously if you can see the ears, the ears can hear from that angle. Whereas here, they can't, the ears can't be seen because they're hidden, they're being covered up, so the only way that they can be seen is by sounds reflecting off the dish and entering this cup here. As I say, the sound of the cup could be changed by making them slightly different, but we don't want them too big, otherwise we're covering up an area of dish. So therefore the dish size decreases the bigger these are. So it's very, very interesting. Uh, I've had some interesting, I have had an interesting discussion uh, with someone very, very technical, and they love their technical aspects, but 
uh, I think that I think that could be actually uh, hindering uh, things for themselves that way. And I don't mean I don't mean that in any disrespect at all. It's just that if you're focused on something very very technical and you're sticking to it and not making experiments like this, then I think this is the only way by experimenting you find out things. Uh, that may not be actually written in any textbooks or technical books. There might be an aspect of it that has been overlooked. So with that, anyway, that's the update on the new one. Uh, when I get time, I'll make some more audio recordings. I did make a little recording this morning, but there's my friend and I talking over the top of, the top of it, unfortunately. Uh, but there might be some clear bits. I might just put some snips up of that later. But I, I, I will put this up uh, publicly. Uh, just so you can see, this is just an idea. Thanks for watching, and please leave a like, follow, uh, and any comments or opinions would be beautiful. Thank you very much.